What is up, peeps? This is for the win TCG, and I talk on you back to another YouTube video. And uh, it feels like it's been a little bit of a while, hasn't it? I don't think I've uploaded since Friday, actually. Um, I've had a lot going on through my mind recently, so I've decided to take a little breather um, from YouTube for the time being. So those four days off was, uh, was quite helpful. So uh, we are back at it today. Um, so yeah, apologies for no video on the Friday or on the weekend to cover that. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are with a brand new deck list for you. And uh, today we're going to be playing Zorak Persian. I really wanted to try this out. I don't know. When I got a Persian in the pack, I was like, I just really love the ability. I like the the, the the main attack, I guess, main attack, and the slashback GX, um, and how it all kind of works well with Zorak. So I wanted to really give it a shot and see how it works, and it works really well. I mean, obviously, it's a Zorak list, so it is going to work, um, but it's one of those decks where you have to sit there and go, am I going to play Persian or am I going to play Lycanroc? And they both have incredible benefits. Lycanroc has Blood First the Eyes and then the massive one-hit KO. MGX18, do I know this? Do I know this person? I might. Familiar. Um, has the one hit KO uh, GX attack, whereas Persian has that incredibly broken ability where if your GX gets KO'd, you can just search your deck for any two cards, uh, which is just insane. So it's like incredible consistency over consistency plus power. Um, so it's kind of like a preference choice in my opinion, but I really like Zorak Persian. It's super fun. Um, and we do have a lot of text in here as a Zorak deck would have uh, to deal with a lot of the top tier meta stuff. Uh, we do have uh, Mew to deal with spread. Um, and we have uh, Slow, is it Slow Bro? I think it's Slow King. I think it's Slow King, the one that does uh, 60 plus 20 for every energy attached to your opponent's active uh, to deal with, oh, I'm excited. Okay. Um, this is not particularly a spread deck, so I don't think that's going to be particularly valid. Oh, this is quite a bad hand. Let's judge Vishal and see what we get off that. Uh, do you know what? That could be somewhat valid, I guess, to some degree. Um, but yeah, we have um, the slow road to counter Reshirad and stuff. So it's pretty fun. Oh, that's yikes. So I have Judge's Whistle in here because uh, Zorak uses Judge really well. And we do have a Judge in this deck. But we just... Oh my god, that is a very bad start. Um, hopefully we can get some Zoroks out to just dig our way out of this hand. Also, we get to use Triple Acceleration Energy, which is so fun to use. It gives uh, just Zorok alone just so many other outs to attack. Um, so Enhanced Hammer is just not as powerful as it used to be because of that, um, which is really crazy. And of course, you can just attach one energy and attack with Persian as well if you do feel so inclined. Yikes, man. That is such a bad start to the deck. We are bricking right now. We might as well just go for the 50 damage. Uh, considering that we're here now, but that is just, oh, that is not good whatsoever. I mean, they are just manually charging up. So if we do get a Zorak, oh no, don't tell me they're going to go for the Sharpedo. Okay, I thought they're going to Sharpedo and then maybe Energy Switch, because I think the one deck, the one thing this deck is missing is the new Weavile, which is going to come out. And if you don't know what that is, uh, let me tell you. What do we get? Do we get, do we get, oh wow. Oh wow, okay. I'm going to Cynthia. I'm not even going to go for the Lily. Um, so the new Weavile just allowed you to move all Darkness Energy around. So you use, you play uh, Greninja's, is it Greninja's Auroch? Yeah, you play Greninja's Auroch, um, and then you go ahead, uh, use Sharpedo to get a bunch of energy into play, and then use Weavile to move the energy around, so you can freely attack. Oh, finally we got Zorok. Um, and I think we do have a KO here naturally, so it's 2468 uh, turn, that's 130 damage, we are getting the KO on the dot. Is it 130? Yeah. Is it? 2468, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Persian. Um, we might as well trade away probably the Rescue Stretcher. Don't need that right now. Let's see if we get another Zorark out. We don't. I want to save this Devoured Field just in case. So I'm just going to go for the Rites of Beating for Knockout here. Yeah, just save the Devoured Field um, in case they drop a Stadium that we could bounce, like Black Market, which really gives Zora Ninja a really good shout. So... Yeah, I would love to bounce the black market eventually. I mean, I, do, I think we do play Field Blower in this deck as well because uh, stadiums and tool cards are just so powerful nowadays. It's insane. So I think playing stuff like that is really good. And if they ain't got nothing, then we're just going to just go to the next one <laughs> because this is just power. Oh. power. oh, this is just something crazy. Oh, wow. They're going to have a Kogo shot. So we have game. It's a pass. We have game. Oh, my God. We have game. Okay. We're just going to have to take game, go for another game. Take game, go for another game. Such a weird sentence to say, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we just go like what, and then we attach the energy retreats, and then KO. Sweet, we don't even need to waste this guy's time. Let's just not do that. There we go, GG. So uh, let's get into another one. That was a bit of a shaky matchup, um, I guess, but my opponent just didn't have 
anything going there, which is, you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes the deck bricks, and uh, that just be the way it be. But that's it, let's go for another and see if we can continue our little victory here. Um, yeah, oh, huge shout out actually to um, Pokey Nerd Center. Uh, over on Twitter, who actually did send me some codes. I haven't claimed them yet, because I actually haven't been on PTCGO for these past four days as well. I haven't played any Pokemon, just completely disconnected. Um, don't worry, we're good now, um, just in case. Uh, but yeah, he sent me some codes, and um, yeah, I, I haven't claimed them yet, but a huge shout out to him for doing that. He actually did provide me a list he wants me to try out, so I am going to give it a shot on the channel. I might throw my own spin on it as well. Um, so yeah, huge shout out to him for... Uh, really helping out there and um, there's still so many cards this set is just so big there's still so many cards i need to get so it really does help um so yeah huge shout out there and i do believe someone else did give me some codes as well and i'm sorry if i don't remember it's just not on the top of my head right now why am i playing black market oh, i don't know why i threw that in there um yes yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's, uh, it's not on the top of my head but uh if i, I probably remember next episode so don't worry if, if you have given me codes and i haven't mentioned your name i, I will uh, it's just not on the top of my head right now. Um, okay, Flareon. What is this? A Reshiram? Is it just a Flareon deck? Uh, it's kind of a kind of double-edged sword that we started the Slowpoke here because it's probably going to get taken down before we can evolve it into a Slow King, Slow. Bro I don't know which one it is. I think I'm going to Elms for two Zeruas and a a. Oh, Reshiram. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get two Zeruas and a Ditto, just in case the Slowpoke goes down, which probably will happen. So um, we are definitely going to need to really heavily use our resources to um, have Slow King. I, I, I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to say Slow King. Out and, you know, being able to capitalize off this deck as much as possible. So I think so long as we get two Slow Kings out, we only have one, but we do have Rescue Stretch, so we can do two. And we one hit KO two Veshavar, that's game. So I think so long as that happens, that's Oh, don't you dare turn one my shadow. Yikes. That's a yikes, man. That, that ain't good. Oh, okay, we can we can uh Lele, which is good. But oh, that's painful. I think we just ultra ball the Meowth and the Choice Band. I kinda wanna hold the Zorak. But they may not have the turn on Kiawe. Oh they don't. Okay, that's kind of good. That's really good, actually. All right, let's get Lele out and just Elm here. Um, so we have... Uh, it is Slow King, yeah. Uh, we'll Elm for Ditto and two Zeruas, I think, for the time being. Tarpu Lele, ironically, is kind of fun against Reshiral as well, because Reshiral just throws a ton of energy on it. So you can just capitalize there. Obviously, you don't want to do that, because Reshiral is just going to destroy your Lele. But, hey, it could be like a, a finishing move, effectively, in this deck, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Um, anyway... Let's get Zeruas and Ditto's down for now. There we go. Sweet. And then we just we just pass, I think. I think we just pass. That's probably what we're going to be doing. Uh, maybe we attach energy. No, we'll just pass. We'll just pass. Well, you know, they might not have it, actually. So as long as we get something good off the top deck, then we can actually go in with the Slow King and just take out a Reshiram so long as they attach a few more energy. So I think we get the one shot if they attach. How does it work? I don't know actually how it would work. How do they increase damage? We haven't damaged them. Uh, oh, they have Kukui. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of um, Mew. There we go. So that's 60, 80, 100. So we actually aren't getting a KO even if we get the Slow King now. Judge Wish will save us. Kind of didn't. <laughs> yeah, kind of didn't. I think what I might do is... Oh, I don't want the Zorak going down next end. All they need to do is Weldo, and then the Zorak is gone. Do they have it, though? We're going to risk it for a Biscuit, guys. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go in 100 damage. And uh, I don't think it's possible to get a, ne a KO next turn with the Zorak. We, I don't think we can hit 170. We don't even have the... Oh, we do have Kukui, I think. So I think we can go for Kukui play. A Kukui devoured field and, and hit 480. But that's such a long stretch. Well, technically, we just need Kukui and, and, and a full bench and a choice band. But even that is a long strength. It's a long stretch, sorry, to get the KO going. But hey, they might not have the Welder. Now, obviously, I know they do have the Outrage attack. Uh, what? I, I genuinely don't know what to give them here. I think we give them 
Oh. Let me give them the Zerua. No, we'll give them the Slowpoke. We'll stick with our consistency. We can still evolve the Ditto, so... That's fine. They do need a Welder. And they do need a Guzma as well. They might already have a Guzma. Oh, no, they can't. You can't Welder and Guzma, the Dui. Oh, Power Plant. Rip. Rip. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. See, we need... Now we need the Valve Field. Now we need the Valve Field. That is bad. Oh, that is just... Just past territory there. Oh, we're going into past town. Stop it. Stop it. I do not like that. One bit. We're just giving them so many opportunities. And uh, we can't trade our way out. This deck is designed to trade. <laughs> it's got so much tech option. Oh, they got the welder as well. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, they ain't got the energy for it. Okay, okay. So that that that's, that's kind of cool. Oh, oh really? I can't even attach to the active to retreat. <laughs> Stop it! This is so bad. This is such a brick. Oh my gosh. I did say it last game, right? Sometimes your deck can just brick. Yikes, man. Oh, they got the Kiawe, and then they probably got a Guzman next turn to go with it to take out the Zor. Oh, this is just bad. But we can we can still win. Uh as long as we utilize our slow kings. I mean, if they take out the Zorak, yikes, but that is definitely a one-hit KO for a slow king. So Cynthia, thank God. All right, get the Cynthia going. Actually, that's a lot of damage for Lele to even do. So that's 120. 100. Oh my god, we can do some crazy damage. All right, um, <coughs> let's not evolve to the Persian. Yeah, Lele could actually do some numbers here right now. That's kind of crazy. So we can do two four. Um, that'd be 120. So that's 160 choice back. We could one hit KO that with a Lele. So that's kind of interesting. I'll tell you that. Um, I guess what I do is I hold the... See, this is the thing. I could evolve this to Persian. I guess I could evolve this to Persian, but we do lose our out to a... to double sloking, right? But if things go the way it's going to go next turn, as I expect, they're going to KO the Zorark, we can actually just get ourselves a sloking and a triple acceleration energy and just guarantee the knockout, Right? That's what I'm thinking. So I think we just do this and evolve into here so we can use his... Oh, wait, no, we can't use his ability next turn. I completely forgot they got power power. God damn, this bloody stadium card. Devoured field, devoured field, devoured field, devoured... No, okay. So be it. This judge is kind of bad now, considering the circumstances, but... Oh, my gosh. So there's the Kikui. If we get full bench and choice ban next turn, we can KO this thing, but that's a dream right now. To be fair, all we really need is a... Maybe I shouldn't have attached that DCE to the Zorak. Maybe I should have just held it in hand for Lele. Because that would have been a perfect opportunity to get a KO. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay. We're going to promote the Zorak. Obviously, it's the one we can retreat with. Um, and we just have to see what we get off this top deck. That power plant is really, really putting us down here. I think we go for Judge. I'd love to Kukui for the damage, but we need to Judge. Okay. Um, that is something, actually. We can bop the... Yeah, we can go for the trade. Good stuff. Finally. Oh, we can actually use this ability as well. Stop it. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh, we might have to manually retreat this turn, but we're definitely going to just go for this one-hit KO here on the... We're not going to play any games here. We're going to go for the one-hit KO. On this Reshirad. Oh, this is just busted, man. This is just stupid. It's... Oh, it's crazy. And we can still trade as well. So we can potentially go into a switch. Which would be kind of cool. So if we hit the switch, that would be dope. No, we don't. But we do hit an Ace of Roller. So that's good. We can... Well, I guess it's kind of pointless. All right. Let's get the KO here. See what we get from the prizes. Um, Kind of want to get Rescue Stretcher out here for the time being. Just to really, because obviously this slow poke, this slow, sorry, this slow king is probably going to go down. So long as they got the welder to, to follow up here, they, they, they do have the slow king. But if they go to the point of retreating, then we... I don't think we have game, actually, because we have to find a way to retreat ourselves if we do the Guzma play. But they're stuck. They're definitely... Okay, yeah, there we go. There it is. Probably got the welder to go as well. But that just be it. I mean... I don't think we're at the point where Lele would do anything crazy either. 
Uh, Layla's going to be hitting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Choice ban on 50. And that's pretty much the same as well. But I mean, that's the best we're going to get. Although we could 2, 4, 6, 8, 7. The Persian's starting to go up. And it will go up with these as well. Hang on. 2, 4, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12. We are hitting 130 damage with Persian. We could actually use Persian's GX attack. Um, and then Guzman next turn if they retreat. If not, just retreat for game or come back the game. I think that's what we do. So I think we're just going to use Persian's GX attack here. And then we have to kind of hope that we hit a triple colors. A tri triple colors. Oh, we did it off the top deck. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, sweet. So let's get rid of, for now, I think the Ace of Roller. No, no, because that could be a free retreater, I guess, at some point. Uh, I think we get rid of the Devoured Field. Yeah, um, that's cool. That is cool with me. There's the Rescue Stretcher. Now, the awkward part about this is we... We do lose damage by rescue stretching stuff into deck. So, yes, we could get the slow pokes back and the slow king back, but we're going to lose the damage that Persian is offering, and that, that that's almost going to give us game. I mean, not technically. Lele can still do it, but I think let's, let's not be too hasty now. Let's just go for the slashback GX here and just go to bench. Uh, we'll give them... A Lele. It's an easier retreat cost, just in case, I guess. But we'll do that. And if they just KO the Lele, then we got a game. Um, if they retreat, then we've got a game. So I think we're in a pretty good spot here to beat this Reshiro deck, which is pretty good. But you, you saw right there exactly why I like Persian in this deck. Because it was just, all right, we have reactivated the, abil the abilities, which is good. Um, and then, bang, able to get right away Slow King, Triple uh, Acceleration Energy, or I'm just going to call it... Uh, Triple energy. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And then just bang. Go in. One hit one hit KO a Reshiro. Okay, they're going for the retreat. That's really good. It's good news. Now they could be healing. Yeah. To really throw a wrench into what we want to do here. But I think we just gotta keep at it for the time being. Maybe do you know what I should have done? I think what I should have done is I really should have gone in and Promoted the Zorok? Are they going to go for the Zorok or the... Yeah, they are. Okay, that actually works in our favor. They could be really screwing themselves a little bit here. Oh, no, they're no outraging. Okay, okay. Ace of Roller play. That's good. That's good. We got the Ace of Roller play. That's good news. Uh, we do still have the trade. Uh, let's trade away the Lily, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. That's not going to be helpful right now. Um, okay, so I think we are doing Ace of Roller here. And just going in with the Persian again. But they are just going to retreat and heal up again. I mean, this is going to be tough. We could go for a Guzma play. Um, but we really want to just take down this. Well, we could effectively double Guzma for game at some point, right? I mean, they got very low HP Pokemon down here. That Mew's easy to take out. The Yeah, I mean, we have Guzma game eventually, right? Um, okay, let's play. Let's just, let's just go with the Acerola for now. I think that's the idea. That we want to follow up with. Um, let's bench you. So we are hitting some decent damage here. Let's go for Vengeance. 130 damage. Now. If they heal 90 damage off this. Uh, they are going to be 140. Which again might be a bit too much for us. So I think. Uh, it depends what they what they do with this Reshirad right now. It really does depend. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're playing switches, right? I mean, this is Jirachi. There is Jirachi in here. So, they have to do something, right? Oh, they're just going to go straight for Guzma. That is actually somewhat good, but then they're going to heal again. Oh, stop it. Stop the Guzmas. Okay. 140 damage. Oh, wait. I think we might have actually had it if we... <laughs> If they were in the active with this Lele. Alright, let's just... Uh, let's just do this. See what we get. That's good. We could actually effectively buff up our own Persian here. But I don't think we've got any... any. Oh, we have one triple energy left. Oh, the others are getting that with only one Zorak in play. That's, uh, that's, an, un that's an unlikely. Um... Now we could actually, oh, what damage do we need to hit? 140, Jesus, we just ain't got it, man. Oh. 
Okay, we have to Guzma. We have to take it out. We just we have to just chip at it for the time being. This is what I'm going to do. Yep, I'm going to Guzma up with the Zorak. I've got my idea in my head. I got me idea in me head. Um, we're going to hit into it for, I think, like, what, 80 damage. And uh, they might come down and heal whatever. But if they take out my Zorak, then we can just Persian use its ability to grab our triple acceleration energy and whatever card we need to follow up for the KO and then just get the KO. That's what I'm thinking. So long as they KO this Zorak. Which they do. Okay, so that's perfect. That's pretty much game, right? So long as we have... Well, oh, okay. Is Lele going to guarantee us game here? Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Lele's the game guarantee. We're not even going to try in Persian right now. We're just going to... We're going... Do you know, do you know We're going to get a choice ban just, just because we can. Just because we can. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Just get whatever. Um, yeah. Lele's got the KO for us. And we got the Kukui. Let's just see what number we're hitting right now. I don't even know what number we're hitting. But we are hitting it for sure. For game, energy drive, how much are we hitting? Hitting 150. Sweet. Okay, so there we go. So we actually managed to beat a Reshira deck as well. Super dope. Um, considering that is pretty much one of the best, if not the best deck in the current format. Being able to take it down is pretty good. They did struggle. I mean, that the build in itself that my opponent had is not a traditional... Mike fell. A uh, traditional Reshirad build, um, per se. So, you know, it's not the best representation of the Reshirad matchup, don't get me wrong. But uh, we were still able to, to rival that and take it down. Uh, and you saw the power of Persian. I think it's really cool. I think it's really fun. Um, it can just give you such an advantage at some point whenever you go down in prizes so it's sick <laughs> it's really sick um, but with that said do leave a like if you did enjoy and of course do subscribe for more and up until tomorrow please do take care and peace